Hey, what's up, guys? Spider Man 96 here. So, this is episode two of my Toy Biz Marvel Legends throwback. This time, I'm going to be looking at the series two from 2002. Now, dig on this. Hey guys, so how have you been? I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Things have been pretty crazy with my job, um, but I have found myself a bit of time to make this video. So I'm look at series two of Marvel Legends by Toy Biz. Um, see there's four figures in the way. We've got the Thing, Human Torch, Doctor Doom, and Namor. Um, I'm gonna start with the Namor figure and let's see how we get on. So first up we have Namor, the Submariner. Um, with complete with flight stand and he's a spear. Um, as you can see, we have got the card that came with the figure, which I've kept for all these years. Um, you know, you can read that if you want to. Um, so basically, you've got the thing in this wave. Don't have the stand that comes with him, but you get Doctor Doom. The other stand, but not to hand. Um, and we've got the Human Torch, um, and we've got Namor. And each one of these came with a comic book, as with the previous wave. So let's have a look at the figure. Um, with Namor, we have got this beautiful stand. I really do like the way it's set up, and I think there's another way where you can display him if you've got him on display. But see, the stand is basically just a, a translucent water piece with a really nice splayed base, and then we've got a hanger. So if you wanted to clip him onto the wall or something, then you can. Um, and this is a really nice piece. You see, we get that spear, which kind of just connects to the hand there. Um, I'm going to take that off for now, I'm just going for the articulation. Um, so yeah, head sculpt is amazing. See we get that little earring in there as well, the ears are all kind of on point. Pardon the pun. Um, and those are like hooked eyebrows. Um, I just think it looks really cool. I love the deco. Um, we've got the wings on the bottom there, similar to the Captain America head. And his um, cowl or mask. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, I did actually break the hand on this one, so I'm going to do the articulation on the left-hand side. So the head does do a full 360, um, and does tilt slightly side to side. This is still kind of, they're kind of doing their thing, and it goes up and down as well. Um, in terms of the arms, we get a ball joint, and then we get rotation of the bicep. Um, it does, it's a little bit stiff, so I'm going to be very careful with this figure, because I've already broken part of it. I had to super glue it back on. Um, get double jointed elbows. We then get a rotation of the hand, and we get that amazing Toy Biz finger articulation. Um, yeah, I mean, in all in all, it's pretty cool. And we get rotation at the waist. We don't get any kind of uh, ab joint there. Um, the legs go out this far to the side with a little bit of help from the rotation joint. Do get it to go back a little way, um, probably 40, 45 degrees maybe and forward all the way as well. Then do you get the double jointed knees. And of course we get um, a ankle rocker or pivot, depending on who you are. Um, and then we do get the toe articulation and the bend of the foot. So yeah, all in all, this figure is pretty damn cool. Um, I'm glad to have it. I know we've got an updated version by Hasbro, which I do want to get my hands on, but as far as Namor, I mean, I only really remember Namor from the Fantastic Four comics. Um, and there's a story I remember where Sue Storm gets kidnapped by Namor, I believe. And then basically he falls in love with her and it's this big thing between uh, Mr. Fantastic and Namor. I might be wrong, but that's how I remember it from when I was a kid. But yeah, I really do like the figure. It's probably my favourite in the wave. Um, just because of the stand as well, I just think it looks so, so good. It looks like a proper display piece. But yeah, so that was Namor. Next up, we do have the Human Torch, or Johnny Storm. And um, similar kind of setup with this guy. We've, we've got the, the similar stand. This time it's obviously a fire effect. Um, but the figure itself, I love the deco. Um, the only thing I don't like is the face sculpt. But apart from that, it looks like it's jumped straight out of a comic book. Um, I love the flame effect on the head and the arms. Um, yeah, we've got this really cool stand, which you have to piece together. It comes in four separate parts. 
Um, you see the port little holes into there, um, and then you get this kind of surround feel. He slots in as so. Yeah, I think if I were to make any improvements on this, I'd have made the stand slightly taller. It's really good that effect that he's just kind of blasted off into the sky. But it does look pretty cool. Um, if you own the Fantastic Four box set, which came out a few years later, then you'll know that this is fairly similar. It's basically the powered up version of that. But again, articulation wise, we get a 360 at the head. Not really, we've got that weird neck joint that they used to do which doesn't really do a lot to improve anything, but I understand. A punch, um, which kind of goes all around. It's a twist joint as well. You get a rotation at the waist, which is really odd. Um, we then get the arms, they do go up, bicep swivel, standard articulation on there, double, double hand elbow. You get a nice hand articulation. We do get a twist at the wrist and obviously that finger articulation again. Um, we get a rotation at the waist and again on the leg goes all the way up or pass the way back and then quite generously goes forward a fair way um, and we do get the ankle rocker and that does twist at the leg but I'm not going to attempt to do that because <laughs> it will break these figures are old, you've got to remember these, these are nearly 20 years old now. Um, so you have got to be a bit kind of understanding that things are stiff on there. So if you do own these, just, you know, they are, they are a bit of toy history. Just, just be grateful to have them. Um, but oh, well, I think that they're pretty cool. But yeah, quite happy with that Johnny Storm thing. Which now leads me on to the one that I think this is the one I really wanted. I think this is the first one I got, which is the Doctor Doom. Now, I love Doctor Doom. He's a Spider-Man villain, a Fantastic Four villain, an X-Men villain. He's a villain like to the whole kind of Marvel Universe, which makes him pretty damn cool. Um, we do the cape is removable. This comes off in one whole piece. Um, and I bet you... Yeah, the mask is going to come off as well. So, as soon as the Iron Man we got in the previous wave, if you watched my previous video, then we do get that face palm, which is removable, which is quite cool. It does slot in there quite nicely. A little bit easier than the, than the Iron Man one. But yeah, I mean, in terms of accessories, we do get this weapon, um, which he has already primed. His hand is ready to hold it. Um, it mine's a little bit warped, the gun, because I've never really taken it out of the the slot but yeah I think that looks fairly cool but if like me you think Dr. Doom doesn't really need a gun um, maybe a Doombot would need a gun if you can double this up as a Doombot if you've got any of uh, Dr. Dooms then you're going to want to use the thing so the head does do a 360 I'm going to be very careful with this one just to take my word for it because the joints are very stiff um, it does have a nice sort of head wobble which is quite cool which means you can get him into some kind of interesting poses. Um, the arm does go up, and we do get a bicep swivel, um, and we do get a all the similar kind of rotations that we did on the previous one. Um, we do only get a single jointed elbow on this one, and obviously the finger and hand articulation similar to the previous figures I've shown in this. Same on the other side as well. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. You get a waist. On this rare occasion, I'm quite glad that there isn't loads of joints because I think it would destroy the look of the figure of the tunic. And then the leg, it does rotate. Um, and then we do get a single joint elbow, uh, knee, sorry, and a joint of the foot, which moves up and down. And obviously the toe articulation, which on that one's a bit stiff. Um, so you can do it on there a bit better. But yeah, it's quite effective. And obviously the mask is removable. That face is... Mm, something to be desired. I'm not a fan of the face. But yeah, all in all, I think it's quite a nice figure. You know, obviously, you can just slot this back on. And you've really got quite a classic, menacing look for Doctor Doom. I do really, really like the look of this. I think it's quite impressive. But yeah, I mean, just look at the deco. You've got that nice texture on the tunic. And um, yeah, just love it. It's really great on display. So yeah. 
Now you've got my favorite Fantastic Four member, but my least favorite figure of this wave. It just looks a bit too, it hasn't aged well, let's put it that way. Um, but I do like the deco. I do like the way it's been painted with the black wash. I love the head sculpt. It's just a shame we don't get much articulation. Having said that, it does move up a little bit. It does rotate 360. So it doesn't, it's not terrible. Um, with the arm, we do get that ugly um, butterfly joint again. But again, as per the Hulk from the previous wave, I understand why it's there. He can move his arm up to 90 degree angle. You get a single jointed elbow. And we do get a rotation at the hand. This figure, more than any of the others, I think would have needed some articulation of the fingers, but we do get that later down the line with the um, thing for the uh, other, the, the box set we got with the Fantastic Four. Um, we do get a waist swivel, which isn't too bad. Um, and then we do get the single jointed knees. The legs don't really go out, they do go forward a bit. Um, we do get the foot articulation, this little slight ankle rocker. Um, but this thing's got to be sturdy because he's a bulky guy, he's very top heavy, so I can understand why we don't get much articulation with him. But I mean, you see the Hasbro's one, I want to get my hands on that, it looks, it looks a lot better. I feel like the arms are way too long. It's just with these big guys, I just don't feel like they could get the proportions right for some reason. Um, it does, it did come with a base, which was the Yancey Street Gang, um, breakable, breakable thing which you punch through, and also a broke apart, but, I mean, it's okay, it's okay. I think we've had better thing figures, but I still like it, it's still there, but yeah. So there we have it, it's, this is the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Wave 2, or Series 2 as it was called. And um, I did really enjoy making this video, as per the previous one. If you haven't seen the previous one, look at my previous videos and you can see the mob version of Wave 1. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you liked the video. If you didn't, let me know as well, because it helps me with future things. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.